Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Friday the 18th, and today was a rather interesting day weather-wise. It seemed like it tried to rain off and on all damn day long, and it was that weird pour down rain for about 10 minutes, and then it would stop for a while, and then it would pour down rain for 10 minutes, then it would stop for a while, then it would drizzle, then it would stop, and it was just back and forth, all that crap all day. So, I got up this morning, um, fairly, I way too damn early, woke up, couldn't much sleep, just gave up, started watching some Netflix and that. Finally, I said to hell with it, the sun came up, got up, went outside, and started getting some stuff done. Um, did some work on my kayak, um, put a new handle and stuff on it, to like a paddle holder and whatnot that I finally got ordered. I put it on my, um, I guess, my slower, fatter kayak first, in case I screwed something up, I didn't want to be ruining my good kayak with that process. So, got it installed there correctly, and mounted a GoPro mount, some other stuff on there, different little things and whatnot. Now, my big reason with the GoPro mount was hoping that, like, when my buddy fell in the river the other day at the boat dock, um, the camera kept falling over because it was just, like, on a handheld pod, like a monopod that I had kind of strapped in on top of my boat, and it was not working well. So, have an actual GoPro mount there, so it will not be as likely to tip over. I still do not have the back door that I ordered in the kit, the floaty, so I'm not certain if I'm taking the, the GoPro. I don't know why I'm so concerned about it, because I literally had it like tethered to a, um, a monopod like a, that I literally just had in my hand. I could have dropped it in the river at any time. It would have sunk straight to the bottom. And I would have been out, you know, 500 bucks for the camera and then the, you know, $100 for the damn memory card. So not counting the 25 bucks for the monopod. So I mean, like out a shitload of money. But with the mount on there, I'm thinking, like, I don't trust it without the floaty. And I trust it in my hand before. So I don't know what the difference there really is. But who knows? Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I got a trip planned for Sunday, so I want to get some of that stuff done. I got the one um, all wrapped up. And before I got everything finished on it, it started drizzling. And I thought, yeah, it looks like it might rain. So I went ahead and started putting some stuff up and whatnot. And literally, by the time I got hang away, it started kind of raining a little bit more. By the time I got in the house, I'd say about five minutes after I got inside, it just cut down straight up, just torrential downpour, like flooded over top of my uh, street gutters and that kind of thing. So was definitely glad that I had all my crap inside and the shop all closed up and buttoned up and the kayak back in the trailer and all that good stuff. So went ahead um, from there to do a little bit of video editing, kind of just really nothing major. Hung out, um, decided to go for a run, so I took off, um, ran myself a nice little sub 30 minute 5k. Also on that run, I stopped by the mechanic shop to see when they want me to drop my van off so they can do the work to replace the exhaust manifold gasket on it and found a shop that actually is willing to do the work, not just say they're going to do it. Well, at least I hope they're actually going to do the work, not just say they'll do it. So we'll see. The last shop um, just basically had it for a handful of days and then gave it back to me and said they didn't want to do it. So um, hopefully these guys will actually be able to fix the problem. I also told them to fix the problem the other guy was supposed to fix that didn't fix it too, which is the air pump make the um, serpentine belt stop squealing. So hopefully they can get it all figured out and I'll, I don't know, I just... So disappointed last time because I, you know, dropped a couple hundred bucks on it and got virtually nothing done. And it screwed up my whole trip going down to the race and that because I really wanted that new van to take down there. So, oh well, it'll get figured out eventually. Um, from there, they told me it's bringing down pretty much whenever. So I actually ran on home. And this is during the rainstorm. It's raining off and on during this time. Bruce is out with me. Ran home, um, grabbed the van, grabbed the keys, hopped in, drove back over to the mechanic shop. Dropped it off, talked to the guy for quite a while. Actually, I waited around forever to talk to the guy. Finally got a chance to talk to the guy. I told him what all it needed, what all I wanted done, and also kind of gave him that whole concept of if you're touring there and you find something that's going to be 10 or 20 bucks that needs to be fixed, please just fix it. And if you find something that's going to be expensive, but, you know, give me a call before you put it back together because I've had a couple of other mechanic shops in the past that will have the thing all apart and they'll have four hours of labor tearing something apart to fix one problem. They're like, oh, yeah, the such and such oil pump or whatever the hell. Look like it was on its last leg, but I'm like, it's $39. Why didn't you just replace it? Well, I wasn't sure if you wanted me to do that. I'm like, why didn't you call me? Oh, I didn't have your number or I didn't feel like bugging you and stuff. But yet you'll charge me $400 again for labor to tear this shit back apart a couple weeks from now or a month from now when the part goes out. Or it ruins my entire engine because like the oil pump went out, which is one of the cases 
that happened to me on another one that literally was three days outside of getting repaired uh, from another project that had the oil pan and stuff off. Well, he was going to replace the oil pump, but it was like $39 and weren't really sure if he wanted to fix it. And of course, I had somebody else driving it three days later. They didn't see the stupid check engine light come on and the oil pump went out completely and just locked the whole engine up. So not only to have like $500 of repairs that basically could have been all saved with $38 or $39 for the oil pump, they chose not to do that. So I lost everything on that one. So that was a bad day. I told him that's not the guy I am. I'm the guy who wants his shit fixed right. I'm when it comes to mechanical, like I'll put off a lot of stuff like cosmetic and that. I don't care about it. But tires and mechanical, don't give a damn the price. Just fix the damn thing. I'm I hate breaking down the road. Especially I mean, I got a dog with me and stuff. I need air conditioning. I need a vehicle that runs. I need to be able to get home safely. All that kind of thing. So especially if I'm gonna be taking this thing down to Florida, which is my hope this this winter, is to make a trip down to Florida and, you know, hang out there for a few weeks or so in the process. I need a van that's gonna run hundred percent. So Went ahead, um, dropped it off, went for, finished my run, ended up running another five, another 30 minutes, some 5K. And so I ended up, I kind of logged them together, which ended up being a 58-minute um, 10K. It's not bad, except in fact, I ran 50 miles literally Saturday. So pretty excited about that. Um, super stoked. I don't know if I'd count it fully as a 10K. Being 58, there was a gap in the middle there of dealing with the mechanic and stuff. But, oh, well, either way, two sub 30-minute 5Ks, you know, within the hour of each other is pretty impressive or a 10k under an hour is pretty impressive as well so got back home ended up watching shark tank i rarely ever watch tv for tv sake i watch netflix youtube and some dvds as of lately since i threw a big tv up on the wall in my bedroom which normally i never i haven't had for years and years i finally put it up on there a few weeks ago and it was kind of cool i hadn't seen shark tank for quite a while and i really enjoyed the show it was a good show so other than that, just hung out, watched some scopes, a Periscope, uh, that kind of thing, talked to people. And it's funny how many people on Periscope start to remember you. Um, that they're pretty, I mean, there's some people that are on the radio, some TV stars, um, world traveling comedian that I'm giving shit to, and they're remembering me and they're talking to me and stuff. And a couple of them were talking about how they were missing the fact that I hadn't seen, been on a couple of their Periscopes and they were wondering where I was at. And the one was joking about the fact that I was probably out running, which was kind of funny because actually when I was, they weren't seeing me, I was running my race that night. So, oh well, that's pretty much how my day went. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.